Welcome everyone to another quick tutorial on this channel. In today's video we are shifting gears back to Python and learning Lambda functions. Lambda functions are one-line functions that have an easy to understand structure and can even support conditionals. The purpose of Lambda functions are to make your code concise and save space in your work area. To begin, the simple structure of a Lambda function is first the function name and you set it equal to the keyword Lambda. Then comes your parameters that you set the name for. If there is multiple params, you separate them by commas. Both versions are shown here. Then comes a colon. Lastly everything after your colon is the operations the function does and the value it returns. For example in my first function, I want to return my parameter plus 1, so I simply write parameter name plus 1. As you can see, you do not need to explicitly write return. Similarly, in my sum function, I want to return x plus y, so I just write x plus y. Now, you call this function as you call regular functions with function name and then parentheses and then your parameters. If I print sum parentheses 2 comma 3, the printed value is 5 as it is returned. Next, on the more complex end, to add conditionals the process is a little different. Now here I am going to create a max function that takes two values and compares them while returning the greater number. After the colon, first comes what is returned if your condition that you are going to set is true. So I will return x, and then comes my condition which is if x is greater than y. Now to add an else option, I write else y, which means that if x is not greater than y, return y. Testing this function, you can see that it works perfectly. Now if I was to write this function as a regular function, it would look like this. As you can see, the lambda function saves a lot of space and is easy to read and use throughout your code. Lambda functions can get as simple or as complicated as you wish. They are used in numerous projects and help create functions quickly and easily. That's all for today and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and remember to keep learning even if it's a few minutes a day.